Hello everyone. Today I have in conversation with Dr. Manjula Anjani, a very famous gynecologist. She's been mentor to many of you probably. If you're a gynecologist or you deal with any robotic surgery, her name will come first whenever we talk about pelvic surgeries. So today uh, we shall be discussing more on the social aspects of you know, obesity and its impact. So welcome Dr. Manjula. It's an Thank honor you. to have you with me. Pleasure. Always a pleasure to be with you. So, uh, you know, I'm not going to talk about uh, very hi-fi things. We want to be very, you know, grounded when we talk about obesity. So I want you to share a personal story. I mean, probably in, in so many years, you might have come across so many stories related to obesity, but something which has really, you know, you know, pinched you right. when we talk about obesity, body image issues and all those this things. This is a girl is a doctor herself. She has PCOS well under control. But again, a girl is like, I want to tell everything to the boy before getting married. The Rishta jo aya hai, that is also a doctor. No, she just told him that it's a PCOS. Everything was fine till she said it is a PCOS. Then the halla, the cry which went that, oh, she has PCOS, she will not ovulate, she will not become pregnant, the whole match got. I had a counselor telling that PCOS doesn't mean infertility. That is not equivalent. Yes. There might be an ovulation. We'll have to check if there is an ovulation. And we might just, you might just need some help for ovulation and you will become pregnant. The next thing, she did not tell, she got married. She became pregnant spontaneously and she had a child. Especially with the boom of this dietary changes which had come with McDonald's and things where people have the easy access to Swiggy and everything. And people are so much immersed into the uh, studying, into the books that they just order something and eat, just junk food habit. And they hardly have any time to go out and play because of the social things which we have. We don't allow them to go out and play. So, so whether we is, agree or not, it is a reality and whether we say or not, it's having a lot of impact on the psychological aspect of the teenagers which we saw. So to overcome that, they either behave as superiority, the attitude changes, then the hormonal changes come over. And they start reading the Google with whatever symptoms they have and they go to the extreme that they would have, uh, even if I say, yes, because of your dietary changes, you have some changes like hormonal changes leading to PCOS, they would go to extreme and I will not get married because it seems I won't be comfortable. Oh, it is uh, that, it is this. And their body image is what is making them into a negative person rather than a positive person that can break the thing. When it comes to stories, yes, I have known of many girls who undergo and uh, go under the knife for it, who have uh, uh, avoided Shandavi going into public for it, going into um, the complete depression and defensive mode and becoming aggressive, passive aggressive because of it, and uh, skipping into the, the exams, not going to the school, and becoming the last benches, that is what we talk about. So their academics is affected and their. Uh, going into the social life is affected, they would not go out into public, they would not be trusting themselves well because they think that some people would be labeling them as something uh, which they don't want to be told. So it is a social stigma which is here. I think we all have to deal with it with a very sensitive uh, way of dealing with it because to getting rid of it is not a thing which is so it's going to be very easy with the, the way again the peer pressure acts when it comes to this they want to go out, they want to have food, they want to be in bunches. So I think it is just the obesity syndrome, the metabolic syndrome as we call it, which we have. So whenever we talk about racism, yeah. it's always about the skin tone color. Right. But now I think racism also exists right. by the you know, by the virtue of judging someone by right. the weight. Right. So have you come across any such patients who come to you say that doctor, my life is miserable, people judge me because of my weight. Definitely. They refuse to even stand on the weight to see the weight mission. They say, people tell you how much it is. It is 99, it is 100. I won't stand there. This is something which we have. People definitely, the marriages, including doctors who have finished gynecologists and not yet married, just because the people who, the matches which come, refuse on the page on basis of the uh, weight. So, and then they work out so much. In spite of that, it is very difficult for them to. It is so easy to put on weight, not very easy to lose weight. So then they do not want anything because whatever they do, it's the vicious cycle which is happening and they're not actually losing weight. So it's not just the young girl or non-medical girls. It happens to every woman in this world. So, you know, there is a concept of blaming the victim. 
girl in the house is wearing short clothes and all those right. things we always tell them that don't wear such things because you lay in you know Attract. invite people who can you know affect you so yeah. actually we should be teaching those people those boys or those men how to behave in social life and public life rather than yeah. teaching our girls i think the same stands true with uh, all these girls who are suffering with obesity rather than understanding the problem you know the general public opinion is just two things i mean either the girl is lazy or she overeats yeah. and we always put the blame on the victim right so i always believe that rather than blaming the victim we should be there to support them emotionally and and i also like i want to tell you that physical abuse is also high in these girls because because of this just the obesity the secondary sexual characters are very early in life they're mentally they're still a small kid okay. but physically they too become little el- elderly looking and they uh, mature looking not elderly looking yeah. mature looking and inadvertently they fall in prey yeah. and, and probably they, they, they lack confidence also. yes already they have an inferiority complex so